only two goods that are being manufactured and these goods are good A and good B. Okay? Now if in this economy X, if all the resources of the economy are used in the manufacturing of good A, then let's say 10 units of good A are produced and 0 units of good B are produced. When? When all the resources are employed in the manufacturing of good A. Okay? Hello everyone, a very good afternoon guys, welcome to Plutus IAS. So students, today we are going to discuss one past year question of Indian Economic Services and this came in general economics paper, okay. The question is from 2020 and the question asked us to explain PPF or production possibility frontier with all its aspects. So we are going to discuss what production possibility frontier is and I am going to inform you about all the relevant points of it. So let's get started. So guys, as I told you, PPF means production possibility frontier. That means it is going to tell us that in an economy, if we produce one good at some quantity, then how much another good can be produced. See guys, when we are basically talking about PPF, so here, there are few assumptions that have to be kept in mind. First thing is, we are assuming that in an economy, only two goods are produced. That is good A and good B. And this is the most important assumption, right? Second thing is, it's not even an assumption. It's the reality of economics. As economics is the study of scarce resources distribution in the most optimal way, right? So second thing is that resources are in scarcity, resources are in scarce, okay. Third and again it is a fact that resources are not equally efficient. What I mean by this is that if I am using let's say resources X and Y to produce good A, okay. Now if I will use same resources X and Y to produce good B, then I cannot expect same quantity of good B to be produced by the use of same quantity of resources X and Y. Why? What's the reason? Because X and Y resources are good or efficient to produce good A, but they are not that much efficient to produce good B. Okay. As we proceed, we will see this thing in detail. And when I say resources, so I am talking about the factors of production. What are the factors of production? There are actually four factors of production you all might be aware of. So factors of production are land, labor, capital and enterprise or entrepreneur. These are referred as resources here. In our discussion, we are going to call these four factors of production as resources. So guys, PPF is production possibility frontier. Okay. Since we assume that there are two goods being produced in an economy, so this curve is going to tell us that if we are producing certain quantity of one good, then how much quantity of good another good can be produced. Okay. Now see, what do we mean by frontier? So frontier or because we are using this word frontier in PPF. So frontier is the curve that represents closed region. See, I've drawn a curve, I've drawn PPF here. So it is representing this closed and closed region inside it. So it is a frontier. Okay, look here. Again, I've drawn a curve. So the region enclosed inside this curve will be called or referred as frontier. Understood my point? Okay. So the name itself is suggesting production possibility frontier. So that is a curve that is going to tell us the different possibilities of production. 
Understood? Let's proceed. Now see, there is one more term that will be required when we are want to understand PPF and that term is opportunity cost. So what do we mean by opportunity cost? Opportunity cost means next best alternative. Understood? Opportunity cost means next best alternative. For example, I'll give you a few examples to make this thing clear. So, see, you are listening to me. You are watching my video. Okay? Video might be of 5 or 7 minutes. So, this is the thing that is time that you are dedicating to watch my video. If you, instead of my video, you can do some other thing. Yeah? In 5 minutes, you can go and cook a Maggie and eat it. So, what you have done? You have given up the opportunity to cook Maggie and feed yourself. Instead, you are watching my video. So, this is the opportunity cost. This is the next best alternative that you have given up in order to avail to this job. Right or wrong? Take another example. Suppose we have got Mr. Shyam and Mr. Shyam is working in Reliance and his salary is 50,000 rupees per month. Okay. Mr. Shyam gets an offer from Tata Motors and there he was awarded or he was getting the salary of 45,000 rupees per month. So Mr. Shyam obviously neglected the offer of Tata Motors, right? So what is the opportunity cost of Mr. Shyam when he is working in Reliance? The next best alternative that is 45,000, yes or no? So opportunity cost of Mr. Shyam when he is working in Reliance is 45,000, okay? Because that is the next best alternative available to him. Clear or not? Okay. Now see guys, here I have drawn a production possibility curve, but before going to this point, I want to give you, it's very basic, but still I want to give you an explanation that how this curve is drawn. So see guys, let me take two goods, good A and good B. And I am going to consider few scenarios. Now let us say in an economy, in an economy, the name of economy is X. There are only two goods that are being manufactured and these goods are good A and good B. Okay? Now if in this economy X, if all the resources of the economy are used in the manufacturing of good A, then let's say 10 units of good A are produced and 0 units of good B are produced. When? When all the resources are employed in the manufacturing of good A. Okay? Now, this economy decides to produce few units of good B as well. So, if this economy wants to produce good B along with good A, so economy has to shift the resources, all the resources as I told you were employed in manufacturing of good A. So now, economy has to deviate few resources from A to B, right or wrong, to manufacture B. So if economy will deviate few resources for manufacturing of B, then we know resources are in scarcity. So what will happen? Resources available for A are going to decrease. And when resource availability for A will decrease, then what will happen? Then number of units manufactured of A are also going to decrease, right? So initially if 10 units are were produced of A, then all resources were employed in manufacturing A, then let's say now 8 units of A are produced and 1 unit of B is produced. Again, if we want to produce more units of B, so more resources will be sacrificed. So let's say now 5 units of A are produced and 2 units of B are produced. Let's say another scenario, one more unit we want to, so 1 unit of A is produced and 3 units of B are produced, right? Now guys, what we do in PPF? We take these goods along two axes, X and Y, let's say this is good A and this is 
20. So initially, let's say this is 10. I'm going to mark these points. So initially, let's say 10 units of A are produced and 0 units of B are produced. Fine. Then 8 units of A is produced, then 1 unit of B is produced. Getting my point? Or should I do it in more simple way? Okay, let me do it. Let me write it so that you can understand it. You can have a better clarity about it. Let me simplify it. So let's say this is 10 units of A. This is 8 units of A. This is let's say 5 units of A. And this is let's say 1 unit of A. Fine. And here we say this is 0 unit of B. This is 1 unit. This is 2 units. And let's say this is 3 units of B. Fine. So initially, when 10 units of A are produced, then 0 units of B. So this point will come here, right or wrong. Then, when 1 unit of A is produced, 1 unit of B is produced, then 8 units of A are produced. For 2 units of B, we have got 5 units. For 3 units, we have got 1 unit. So see guys, we have got these points here. Now what we have to do is, we have to just join these points. If you properly join these points, so as you can see, this will be the shape of the curve. This curve is known as production possibility curve. Okay? Now let's come back. That's how it is drawn. So here I have shown a PPF or PPC production possibility curve along Y axis. I am taking one mood along let's say mood X along X axis. I am taking mood Y. Okay. Now see guys, if we take few points inside this curve. So what are they representing? They are representing various scenarios of production of mood A or and B. Yes. But these points inside the curve are inefficient. Why? Because all the resources of economy are not being used in manufacturing. Okay? That means we were having many more resources, but we used lesser amount of resources. All the resources are not employed. So points inside the PPC are inefficient. Getting my point? If you look at point A and B, they are lying on the PPC. So the points that lie on PPC, these are called efficient points. If you take example of point D, so point D is lying outside the PPC and what does it mean? It means that this point is unattainable. Unattainable means that even if we use all the resources available in the economy, then too we won't be able to manufacture the goods till the point D. Clear? Understood? Okay. Now see guys, <coughs> if we talk about PPF, so what is actually PPF representing? PPF is representing scarcity. It is representing scarcity of resources, right? And here, opportunity cost represents the choice. It is representing the choice which one makes when he is facing the scarcity. Okay, that's what opportunity cost means. Moving on. Now see. What is the shape? The shape of PPF is concave. And why the shape of PPF is concave? It means that opportunity cost is increasing. What do we mean by opportunity cost is increasing? Pay attention at this example guys. Initially there were 10 units of A and 0 units of B. Right? When we manufactured 1 unit of B, so we sacrificed Two units of A, yes or no? Two units of good A were sacrificed to manufacture one unit of B. That means opportunity cost in this case is two units of A, right? They were sacrificed. Okay. Now to produce another unit of B, we sacrificed three units of A. So what happened? Initially opportunity cost was two. 
now it has become three it is increasing now see in order to manufacture one more unit of b four units of a are sacrificed that means again opportunity cost is increasing and since opportunity cost is increasing that's why you get this shape of ppf which is concave clear so shape of ppf is concave because of marginal opportunity cost marginal means when one excess unit of wood b is manufactured then how many units of a are sacrificed as i just told you that is more of one wood has to be sacrificed to produce another wood that we just saw right initially two units then three units then four units of a were sacrificed in order to produce one unit one additional unit of since resources are scarce and why this happens because i told you resources are scarce and are not equally efficient that means these resources which were good for producing wood a now when same resources will be employed for producing wood b the result will not be that efficient you will not get same amount as you were getting in case of wood a understood so that's why the shape of the curve is concave. Now look at this last point. See, I have represented here two PPFs of the same economy, and as you can see, this is PPF one inside is inside curve is representing PPF one or PPC one. Outside is PPC two. Now what is the meaning of it? The meaning is that economy is growing. Yes or no? Initially, initially with the use of its resources, economy was manufacturing these many goods. But now production capacity has increased economy can manufacture more number of goods with the available resources okay so guys that's it in ppf i hope you understood the concept and enjoyed the video thank you